friends, it is, let's see what time it is here. It's 12.46 a.m. And the day now is Friday. The date today is July 22, 2022. And we now, so then yesterday was Thursday, July 21st. And second day of the Clean Comedy Challenge. So, yeah, it was really good. Tonight, it was different because I had written a joke that was a lot, it was a long joke, a, a very long joke, about seven pages actually, handwritten, and see if I can find it now. But I, I'm tr I was trying to do something a little different. So what I decided to do was introduce myself, introduce the act in a different way so that they would, people wouldn't be scared. Because I, I find that a lot of people are scared of my act for some reason. And I don't know why that is. I, I can only just imagine that they uh, either don't understand it or they I don't want to hear about what it is that I'm talking about. Hang on a second here. So, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Alright. Let's see now. Now this, uh, let's see, I don't want to give away the punchline. Let me see here. Wait a second here. Let me make sure I don't have the punchline here. See, this is dated. Hang on a second, here. hold it. I don't want to give away the punchline. No, I don't want to give away the punchline because the punchline on this is so good. And I gotta be careful because this is dated. Yeah, here we go. Hang on a second. Okay, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, okay, hang on. Yeah, this is a good one. So I wrote this out. Okay, here it is right here. Okay. Right. Okay, a little bit, all right, hang on a minute. This is part of it. This had something to do with it right here. So, the idea is that I'm explaining, I'm trying to explain to whoever wants to listen that I'm not here to hurt anybody or tell anybody what to think or to confuse anybody or scare anybody. And then so on and so forth. Because, well, actually, I am here to scare certain people, the right people, because people need to be scared of machine guns. Do you know what a machine gun is? And so then I wrote this joke, but I don't know if a lot of people want to hear machine gun jokes. I don't know. I... I have been writing a lot of machine gun jokes lately, and I think it's because I see so much about these machine guns in the news. Oh, yeah, see, I can't, I don't want to give away the punchline on this, man, because here, here's the punchline. I'm, I'm serious, man. Look at this. You're not going to believe this. Look at this. This is something here. And I want to show you the punchline. I got to make sure. Hang on, hang on a second. Here. Hang on, look at that here. That, see, look at that. Right? You want to see part of it? Hang on a minute. This is, I'm telling you. This is the punchline here. Oh, this is a good one, man. Watch this. I don't, I'm not even going to show you this yet. But, look at that. Okay, hang on a minute.
I don't want to. I don't know. Uh, I gave it away. Too much. Okay, now that's the punchline. And then, the idea here is Here's a joke where I give the punchline first and then I tell the joke with the punchline added or at the end. Then I will take questions and explain the joke. And uh, let's see here. And then I'll be signing my book in the back. Right. Right, that's the joke I, let's see what was here. Oh, and then here we go, see. Wow, look at this. <clears throat> so what was that joke about? Machine guns, people, kids, and dogs. Not trees, not houses. Well, yes, houses. See, there's a lot of jokes you can get from machine guns, or machine guns, like, how are we not able to keep our own people from, from, let's see, I don't even know if this is age appropriate. Let me see. Let me see. Hang on a minute here. Huh. Let's see here. What did I write here? From getting... And then I had this here. I don't even know where I was going with that one. Hang on. I think I know where I was going with it. And then you have all this stuff, right? LGBTQ plus IA plus friends. And then, of course, I'm taking notes here on how to make this joke better. And then, of course, John 9 and Acts 238 for adults because... Uh, something needs to be something to keep oh the Bibles need to be we need oh adults need to do something to keep Bible to keep the Bibles out of the reach of children that's what it is right for adults right John 9 and Acts 238 for adults because adults need to do something to keep Bibles out of the reach of children. Right, that's what it is. Then you have that one there. And then of course you have this one here. Uh, I have some more jokes about Biden. And then, hey, listen, that's not to say I am not trying to do my best to support Joe Biden. Trust me, I am. But you know, he's one of the funnier characters I've ever had, so he's the key. Right now he is. Biden is the key, man. No, but I'm serious. He is the key, right? Somebody's got to be the president. Well, who is it? Executive power in the absence of congressional action. That's what he said. And then, of course, building walls, protecting statues, building DMVs and protecting food stamps. And then here you have this line here, Republican and Democrat. And there's a lot there. Would you uh, personally subpoena Mike Pence? Spelling, look at this here, I got this. Spelling was good. Oh yeah, then, right? Then the machines came along and then my spelling got bad, but now they're back, right? The machines are teaching me how to talk and how to spell. So yeah, there's a lot of jokes there, man. A lot of machine gun humor, so to speak. And then some more notes. Oh, here was some jo uh, writing, uh, some notes I took on today's class at the Clean Comedy Challenge. And then I, of course, am taking notes and I'm, I'm writing down some ideas for jokes as well. And then this is, uh, again, Clean Comedy Challenge. These are some of the notes I took. Right? 
joke writing, clean, you know, many different forms, directions. Oh yeah, here I was taking some notes. I was talking to a guy out there named Drew. Squeaky clean comedy for churches. And this guy's a youth pastor, man. And then, uh, boy, yeah, Lou Deck, man. This guy got, got busy, man. This dude's not even joking around. Trust me, he's not joking around. And believe me, he's a funny guy, but he's not joking around about this stuff, man. He's really serious about it. Providing the our generation of comics, or as he would he might call them, the next group of people, uh, to have the tools they need to be the best they can be, man. And I'm going to tell you, I know even I'm having trouble seeing all these notes, but trust me, it's good. How do you? Oh, how do you speak your image, and then? Uh, hard to be and wait what uh, I took the notes here I can't see it now this is hard let's see here this is important let's see here's some stuff here act like oh act like a leader uh, hard to be you and B H T what is that? And find I think it's be yourself. I don't know what that's the three things. Maybe starts with a smile. Yeah. It all really starts with a smile. Your image. How do you Man, this is the notes. These are the notes I took from Lou Deck. How do you Speak and how do you communicate? Right. How do you speak and how do you communicate? And then, you know what? I gotta take better notes, man. It's three, but I mean, everything that happens on the stage is my responsibility. It's my fault, so to speak. If it goes well, it's I get the credit. And if it goes poorly, it's my responsibility. I need to get, I need to make sure people are at least engaged. And this is the way I look at it. I know I'm, it's important that people are laughing and I am working on that. But also there's this, uh, there is, when the, there is a lot of attention being paid to what is being said sometimes people don't even know what to do with it and it is funny but look at these notes man and i gotta tell you i could barely keep up i mean man some people would pay a million dollars to come to something like this the clean comedy challenge hmm. how to write a joke man premise setup story keep the audience Right, fact-based, man, the premise. Know your facts. We need to... Huh. Oh, boy, I'm gonna have to really go over these. Can't read my own writing. What's this now? Trust the science. Oh, I got a joke on that one. Trust the science. And then here you go, some more notes here. Who is this? Still Lou Deck? Pace. Understand. Don't get bored. That's right. You, there's a pace to it. Does, the, does everyone understand? Does the audience, are they there with you? Are they part of the ride? And don't get bored. Don't let people get bored. New material. Always got to be writing new material. Laughs. Three things in... Oh, your packet, your intro card. It'll say, so I'm from this, I did this, and this guy wants to end up doing this. Right, okay. Wow, man. Yeah, who dick? Look at that. All right, let's see here. Plan, oh, set list, man. Intro cards, your hits list. Record shows, listen, the tapes, man. Yeah, look at this. 
30 shows. Let's do 30 shows, man, and hit it hard. Okay, let's see what we got here. The last note here was 99% personal initiative success. Nightly habits. I think that's what we were talking about. Wow, look at this, man. Oh, boy. I'm not even going to keep reading this. This is too much. i got to study this. It's now getting to be about... What time is it here? Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. It's about 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. Yeah, I should have left that light on, huh? Wow. Look at this, man. Wow. Always follow direction. Pay attention to the audience. Do the time allotted. Explain what is happening. Yeah, I need to do that. That's another one I think I added. Rate your jokes. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's saying. Explain it. Yeah, Lou Deck, man. Rate your jokes. Strongest joke last, and then so on and so forth. You don't want to do all your best jokes first. You want to do maybe your third joke, your third best joke second, and your second best joke first, possibly. Variety variety show and then write and uh, what do we have here right oh your emergency line right you gotta have your emergency line like well I guess that one didn't work yeah I'm still workshopping that one or whatever you say right How, for instance I'll just quote Acts 238 <laughs> yeah I'll just quote I'll just start quoting the New Testament man. wow rehire rate uh, book store huh. manager agents book huh. I gotta have to really study my own writing here okay I took some notes here as well but this went along with it you have to be consistent how about compelling and since I do Christian comedy jokes material and then the prequels that kind of it's my line of thinking there I got a lot of jokes there on the prequels too a lot of jokes on Christians. Behavior. Just behavior. Relate. Communicate. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I have to look at my own writing. I forgot. I can't even read that. Who? Why? YouTube hits. Huh. Okay, man, there's a lot of stuff going on here, boy. Wow. Huh. Ooh, deck. Okay, that was a good one. So I started writing this joke here, and I uh, got to writing it, got to writing it. Yeah, let's see. Man, I'm telling you, what what does a machine gun do? It's a killer. It's a gun that's also a machine. But it's not a gun machine. It's a machine gun. And then I got to thinking about Penn and Teller, Lenny Bruce, Jack Coe, the great evangelist, A.A. A. Allen, another fantastic classic evangelist, Bob Newhart, Max Headroom, and Alex Jones. Boy, those are all great. But man, Lenny Bruce, fantastic. Pin and Teller, tell you what the trick. Explain the trick. Tell you the trick they're going to do. Explain it, then show it to you, and then then do the trick, and then show it to you. It's kind of what I do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to tell you what I told you I, I was going to tell you, and then I'm going to tell you what I told you. And then, if you want to ask any questions, then I will simply tell you what you told me but I'll explain it to you so that you understand what it was that you said and that's kind of what I did and uh, let's see here 
Oh, but not Will Smith. Come on, man. What happened to that guy? Does anybody really want their kids to grow up and act like Will Smith? Come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's a machine gun. Look at this. And it's designed to do one thing. Kill a lot of people. Really, really fast. And do it. And be able to do it over and over and over again. Killing people. Right? Your people. My people. Right? You. I am confident. Oh, and then there's this joke here about this, this guy. That I heard this number here. People. All people need to be scared of machine guns because it only does one thing. Yeah, see, and here was the punchline. Kill people, right? And that's it. That's the punchline. Now, that's the way the joke goes. But now, if I would have let that sit there, you would have seen, man, machine gun, it only, it's only good for one thing, to kill people, right? To kill people. But now, if I delivered that punchline before I told the joke, you wouldn't know what that meant. If I just said kill people. Um, but now, oh, but then here's this. How about this, man? Like, you know what a machine gun does, right? A machine gun kills people, right? And then, let's see. It's over here somewhere. I had something over here on uh, LGBT. Uh, and let me see if I can find it. Um, hmm. Okay. Kill people. See, that's the punchline right there. Let's see. Oh, and then here's this one about the numbers. Right here. This one right here. I am confident that my numbers will beat his numbers by 95%. Well, I think it's 65%, but this is the joke. I was in the park. Now, that's the punchline. But I will deliver the punchline like this. I was in the park the other day. I was in Central Park, and I was a couple of months ago in New York. And I was in Central Park, and there, there was a guy there walking his dog. And he looked like, yeah, actually he looked like a typical guy that you'd see in the movies or TV that looked like a, a rich guy that would walk his dog we're well, not a rich guy but just a normal guy but he, he might have been working for an insurance company or some that kind of a job in other words he wasn't a plumber right that's what i mean not a rich guy but you know that kind of a guy in the movies they would say man we need a guy that's white and looks like he'd be really rude to the hired help that guy right but he's walking his dog and he had headphones in earbuds so that he had no wire connected or his phone connected to his head he's just talking he's walking his dog and he as he's walking his dog in central park he says i am confident that my numbers will beat his numbers by 65 percent or 95 percent and i thought what's that guy even talking about right well that's the punchline is i am confident that my numbers will beat his numbers by 95 percent and I would say then, what was that guy, what is that guy even talking about? But I would start the joke out by saying, what, what is this guy even talking about? Well, here's what I got to thinking about LGBTQ plus IA, and that is, you know how machine guns are designed to kill people, right? It's designed to kill people, machine guns designed to do one thing, man, and that's kill people. That's it, that's all, it want, that's all it's going to do. It'll kill, also to kill dogs and animals too. Not trees or not houses. Well, yes, houses sometimes. But you see, there's a lot of jokes in there with the machine guns, right? And then, of course, but this one I was thinking about how, you know, that. Here it is right here. Here's the joke. I don't even know what IA or whatever, I was writing the joke out. And I said, I don't even know what IA something packed half of that means, or, or what part of that means. I don't even know what I means, or part of that means, or half of that means. I didn't know how to 
introduce that concept of the, man, I don't get it, but I had to have a cadence. Like, I don't get how to spell it. I don't know what it means. IA means, oh, here it is. I don't even know what IA means, and I don't. As in LGBTQ plus IA. Well, plus, friends, I understand, but plus IA, I don't know what IA means, so I just assume this. But I don't need to know what IA means. I, here's what I need to know. This is all I need to know about that. I have, to, all I need to know is that machine guns are bad for people and LGBTQ plus IA plus friends is good for people, right? I mean, one is designed to kill people, right? And one is designed to actually help people have a better life, right? And what more can you say about that, friends? All of our LGBTQ plus IA plus friends, you're welcome. You're included here and we want you here. And we may not agree on every single thing, but... I say, or I may not agree on every single thing, single thing that you say, but we can agree on this, that we're both good people, and we're both, we both have good reason to help each other, and I'm, I'll start by helping you, and yeah, we can agree on that, and we can get along just fine, and then of course, John 9 and Acts 2, 38, right, for adults, right, because adults need to do something to Keep the Bible out of the reach of children, right? Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff in the Bible that kids shouldn't be reading without adult supervision, right? And parental guidance. So, yeah, we have all these jokes here, and uh, we were at the Clean Comedy Challenge today, yesterday, actually. And we're going to be there tomorrow if everything goes uh, the way we want it to. And I hope it does. I assume it will. But in the meantime... We're, in the meantime, we're here in uh, Los Angeles, California. I am. We are. I'm here with my wife, both out here. And it's been a great time we've had. And we're still having a good time. And because of your support, I'm able to keep doing this. And so I want to say thank you again to all of my friends out there that have supported and are supporting, and including the instructors out here and my uh, seminar co-participants in this clean comedy challenge at the Comedy Chateau in North Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, man. You want to look at look for it on a map. It's North Hollywood, too. And, yeah, clean comedy challenge at the Comedy Chateau in North Hollywood at right off Lancashire Boulevard. Right, exit off of the 134, I believe. So, yeah, we'll see you at the clean comedy challenge today at the Comedy Chateau. July 22, baby. We'll see you there.